Hi, this is Scott, Kilo Sierra 6, Delta Alpha Yankee, and back once again with another Operator Series video for the TID Radio TDH3. This is a little bit of a sideways diversion. I know my next video was supposed to be about programming a repeater, but I wanted to real quick address a, um, a skill set related to VFO scanning, and the reason is I'm getting hit pretty consistently with people asking the same question, and that is when I'm in VFO mode, how do I set up a scan range so I don't have to scan the entire spectrum across the VFO? Because if you put this thing at its lowest possible receive frequency in VFO and hit scan, it would take a long time to cycle from one end to the other and back again. And sometimes what we want to do is narrow things down to a specific window. Maybe, for instance, we want to look at what kind of activity we have um, between 146.000 megahertz and 146.500 megahertz. So uh, there is a way to do that. It's fairly simple. So let me go ahead and show you that. So we're currently in channel mode. So what I'm going to do is uh, switch this over into VFO mode by double clicking the orange button. And then I'm going to go to the menu. And what I'm going to do, in default, you're going to come up in zero. I'm going to hit the arrow key down and go to item number 56, and that is scan band. Now, this is a thing that throws people off as they see, for instance, 1.0 and an M. And it really becomes apparent. Oh, let me get back here. Um, it really becomes apparent when you go, for instance, to 2.0. People might think, well, this is 2 meter, so it's going to scan the 2 meter band. And actually, that M does not signify meter. In fact, what it signifies is megahertz. So you can um, basically adjust this all the way down to, oh, let's get back here, all the way down to the slowest possible parameter, which is 1 half a megahertz. So if I did want to scan that 146 to 500, or I'm sorry, 146.0 to 146.5 megahertz, that is half a megahertz. And by setting this, it would allow me to scan within that range. So I'm going to set that, just as I just said, for 0 0.5 megahertz. And so I'll hit the blue save that. I'm going to hit the orange and exit. Now I'm going to set my VFO to 146.0. And when I hit scan, it's going to take off on its scan. Now what's going to happen is, and you'll notice I have the dummy load on here because I actually don't want to pick up any, uh, any traffic that's going to stop the scan. But what's going to happen at this point is it's going to scan everything between 146 and uh, 146.5. And I could do the same thing if I wanted to do something in the UHF band. For instance, I could scan 441.000 to 441.5000, and it'll scan everything that exists between them. So we're moving along, and if you're following along with the bouncing ball here, you're going to see when it approaches the end of this 400 series, it's going to cycle back to 146 again. So what's happening is in VFO, it's scanning everything in a one half megahertz cycle. Let's go ahead and stop this. And I'll show you the full scale that you can adjust this to. You can scan one half a megahertz, one megahertz, one and a half megahertz, two megahertz, 2.5, 3, 3.5, 4. So if you get into four, this is where you can scan, for instance, the entire VHF band. So you could set it for four megahertz and you could set it on 144.000. And it's going to scan everything from 144 all the way up to 148 megahertz. And then it's going to cycle back through again. But if you wanted to go a little bit over the edge on that, oh, sorry, do that every single time when it times out. So let's go back to 56 again. Uh, so there's four. 4.5, 5, okay, so it looks like 5 is the largest span that you can do, and that would accommodate um, most of the amateur radio bands within GMRS, for instance, and, and what you can find from this, for instance, if you set this for the GMRS band, and you start scanning within the 462 to 467 megahertz in that 5 megahertz span, you're going to find all kinds of weird stuff that's hiding in between those... Uh, those channelized frequencies that GMRS uses. Some of it's kind of interesting to listen to. But that is how to set up your VFO with parameters 
for VFO scanning. So um, I hope that made sense to you. I uh, thank you for watching and or listening. This is Scott, Kilo Sierra 6, Delta Alpha Yankee from Visalia, California. Have a wonderful day.